Baraka Roses is located in Gorika Nyandara County in Kenya's Great Rift Valley. It lies on an altitude of 2,250 feet above sea level. The farm was previously a dairy farm in 2011, but now focuses solely on growing export quality roses. We are a family business and we are very proud to see the positive impact Baraka has had on the local community. We are already established for producing incredible beautiful roses of incomparable quality. We take pride in our variety. Because of our altitude, we are able to produce larger heads and bring out the very best in tea hybrids and intermediate roses. And as the saying goes, every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. No one knows this better than Baraka Roses. We grow and supply rose seedlings to the ready market. This is a simple process of cutting and joining the rootstock. To ensure the quality of our roses, we control the process from the initial stage. We grow our own rootstock and propagate our own roses. This is a technical process that requires meticulous attention to detail. Our dedicated propagation team has mastered this very well. The greatest advantage to producing seedlings is a vast variety of roses by joining different rootstocks with different scions. Allowing for limitless varieties of beautiful roses, we work with our partners, the breeders, to select the varieties to introduce to the market. In the trial house, we grow a few bays of potential varieties to enable us to collect data on their viability before they're grown commercially. Over the years, we've established a eucalyptus forest around the periphery of the farm. This provides us with enough poles to construct greenhouses equipped with the latest computerized control systems and drip irrigation and using our water dams as part of the recycling process, this allows us to give every plant exactly what it needs without wasting water. We believe in using natural methods and collect organic waste produced and recycling it to get all the nutrients through our compost site that we process in the vermin pit and recycle back into the production through the controlled system. While we try to avoid chemicals where we can, if necessary, we will spot spray following guidelines that have been approved globally. We give a clear indication not to enter any greenhouse during this process using a red flag. In addition, employees who are involved must adhere to the company policies of protective clothing. To ensure that our roses are all at the same cutting stage, we harvest our flowers at least twice a day. All flowers are directly placed in clean buckets that are filled with water and post-harvest solution. From there, the flowers are placed in the first cold room where they're kept until they go through the rest of the grading process. All thorns and excess leaves are removed for the better care and handling. This is a process known as defoliation. The first sorting is done according to size. Further close inspection and selection of perfect flowers before the watchful packaging. The boxes are then placed back in the cold room until the truck is ready to leave for Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi. we make sure we give our employees the best care. Through their welfare policies, we give access to the farm clinic. We provide well-appointed employee housing to our management team. During the day, the employees are entitled to break sessions and we supply light meals to all the employees around the farm. We care for the employees and understand expectations of people and their expectations of themselves are the factors that result in positive employee performances and motivation in a happy working environment. Therefore, being ahead, Baraka Roses keeps up with the trends and fashions of current styles to provide for the much needed variety on demand. And when you remember, every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. Remember, Baraka Roses. Baraka Roses. Baraka Roses.